one of the primary goals of standing meditation is to learn song or that softness and bring that softness into your practice and into your daily life. Our muscles want to take over and they want to be in control. The more we can retrain those muscles that they don't have to be in control, and the more we can release them and rely on and have faith on the fascia. And the bones, tendons, and ligaments are all an expression of fascia. That's why we do standing meditation. And then we try to bring that into our Tai Chi. My husband and I were having coffee this morning and we were chatting and for some reason he conveyed this story of when he was in college in Chicago and I, there was a bridge or a, a wall that he would drive by and one day it was so cold that every time the water had crashed on the wall, it froze until it created the shape of a wave frozen in time. <clears throat> and that just really struck me, that imagery. And I think that when our muscles are firing, that we're that wave frozen in time. The momentum is there, it's just frozen. And what our goal is when we do Tai Chi is to thaw, to thaw out those tensions and that hardness so that it becomes a flowing softness so that the wave can crash and recede and crash and recede. So bit by bit, drop by drop, we start to thaw out that frozen wave within ourself by releasing our muscles and trusting fascia. Okay? Nice imagery to bring to your standing meditation. We'll do a short standing meditation and then we'll move into uh, easy Qigong to train your mind mostly that you can retain that feeling that you get in your standing meditation into your movements. Okay. Now remember we're not in a Tai Chi stance per se, we're in our stance whatever is comfortable to your body. And we don't need a heavy, deep stance. And just become aware of the space around you and how your body occupies that space. Then we're going to gently release your knees so that they bend a, a little bit and imagine that you're filling the space between your knees and the joints in your ankles and just inflating that area. Now the space between your forearms and your body, let it inflate and this lifts your arms. And then bringing the wrists together as though you were cradling that space and your back of your wrist touch and inflate the back, the upper back. Let it broaden. Bring the fingertips towards your midline and draw up the energy. Imagine it floating up and filling your body. Then the space between your hands and your chest inflates, brings your hands out. And it's as if you have a palpable ball and rest your arms on that ball. And now here we begin to thaw those frozen droplets. Release them, let it drop down to the feet, allowing you to release muscles and trust your structure. As you release, imagine that it's filling with emptiness. Feel the bottom of your feet 
And imagine it's the counterbalance to the top of your head. Now we'll take a breath in, and your hands are cradling this ball that's held up against your body. Slide the arms on the outer part of that ball. And release the shoulders. Feel the weight of the elbows. Let it pour into the um, lower arms and hands. And now you like this ball so much, you're going to hug it a little bit. And you're going to bend at your claw just a little slightly as though you're resting your whole trunk on the ball. At this point, you're looking, gazing down about 15 feet in front. Imagine floating in a body of water, the ball supporting you. Now we'll release. Standing back up, connecting feet to crown of head, and press your balloon like you're inside the balloon. And you're pressing the walls of the balloon, not with muscles. And you also are feeling the bottom of the balloon and the top of the balloon. And those walls, as you press into them, give you stability. And you can release into that stability. And then we'll take a breath in and bring those two wrists back together, the back of the hands, which opens your upper back. <clears throat> then if you'd like, you can sit down just a little more and draw the fingertips towards you and imagine that you're pulling the energy up, filling the feet, the thighs, the upper body, the spine. Once it gets to your heart, it expands and it's pressing on your hands and your upper arms. And you can release into this. And imagine that you can feel a flow of energy circling around <clears throat> from one arm across the chest into the other arm, a circuit there circling. And all the while, you're in perfect stillness. Now release your shoulders. Let them become heavy and pour it into the elbows. And connect that circuit of energy and move it between your hands. Imagine that space expanding and you can feel it pressing on the palms of your hands and it opens your hands for you. And then as it expands, it moves into the upper arms Cross your chest, so you have to release your chest and absorb it into the chest till it touches your spine. And as we close, imagine that you're becoming bigger and you're occupying more space in the room. And your spine, every crevice in the spine is opening in your vertebrae. Do one more with your own mind, your own pace. And then when you're ready, you can take that ball, keep it, and place it 
inside the body, touching your low back, the front side of your low back. And then we'll open. Let your arms float rather than you lift. And as your arms float, your muscles can release and pour the weight down into your feet. Now the chi is about six to eight inches below your hand, so imagine you've moved it into your throat and see if you can maybe feel a sensation into your chest. Trace it down. And as you do, you're releasing of heavy chi and filling a beautiful light. Extracting, expressing out the heavy, receiving the light. We'll do one more. Again, you're floating the arms and releasing and sinking weight down to your feet. And then place your awareness between your hands at first. Then imagine moving this energy into the center of your body, about six inches below where your hands are. And eventually you'll start feeling it. And so now we'll fill our heart with joy and gratitude, peace and tranquility. And imagine every cell in your body opening up expanding, receiving the light energy. As you release the heavy energy down and away. 